October, since 2018, I've always participated in the Spooks and Tea Readathon. It's a readathon dedicated to reading spooky reads or horror reads, even thriller reads. Since, you know, October is usually celebrated as uh, Halloween, although we don't have Halloween here in the Philippines, we still enjoy participating in the horror things every October. So for Spooks and Tea this year, we have, again, prompts to help us along on what to read. And as usual, when it comes to prompts for me, I usually just check them off after I've read the books because I like to read books and go into them blindly. And I'll be showing you today on what books I plan on reading for October. So I have a lot of unread Stephen King and Anne Rice books, but they're just too easy a go-to for when it comes to horror. So instead for this year, I plan on reading something that's not Stephen King and that's not Anne Rice that is already on my shelf because I hope I'm planning that I won't have to buy more books. And it's also, you know, cut down on my unread pile that's on my shelf. So the first book I plan on reading is this one, um, Akata Witch by Nidhi Okora 4 which is i don't think it's a spooky book i don't think it's scary but on, on goodreads it's listed as paranormal and it's got witches um it's most likely fantasy magic and all those things probably not spooky but you know i, I i've been planning to read that for a while so yeah i'm gonna go and read that then there's also this one, Something Wicked This Way Comes, by Ray Bradbury. I was very surprised to find that Ray Bradbury wrote something else aside from Fahrenheit 451, and it's listed as horror thriller on Goodreads. So this was a spontaneous buy. I, I don't know what year I got that, but when I saw it in National Bookstore, in the shelves of National Bookstore, I just I just bought it because you know I've never heard of it no one I have not seen anybody talk about this book at all and Ray Bradbury I expected him to be a known name from Fahrenheit 451 and then I come across this one I was very surprised I I was looking for horror books that day whatever year that was I was looking for horror books and I was very surprised to see his name on a horror book you know coming from Fahrenheit 451 I really did not expect a horror book from the author actually I didn't even expect him to write anything else aside from Fahrenheit 451 but yeah there's that so definitely reading that for October and then following those books that I have not read for Weekathon are these ones. So these three are comics. I think there's number four, number five. I'm not sure if there is still number four, number five, but these three comics is, there is an English version. And this one, this copy I have is in Tagalog. And actually there's the black and white version. I think I like I like that one better. But these are the ones that I that were available. So those are the ones that I got. I was supposed to read it for a weekathon, but I didn't get the time and it arrived rather late. So yeah, I hope I'll get to read that for October. They're short, so I most likely will read it for October. And also uh Teresa has been recommended a lot for so many I don't know over a year already I keep pe seeing people I keep seeing people recommending Trese over and over again and so I hope I finally I finally be able to get to them this month and then of course there's this this was recommended to me by someone over at books and tea discord book club and also by Gerald from Jared the bookworm this is here, clear 
ang mga kaibigan ni Mama Susan by Babong. It's Babong, so I expect this to be a good read. And I probably will enjoy it a lot since Gerald said it's written in, yeah, in a journal kind of form, in a journal form, and I always enjoy that kind of stories. So yeah, those are, these are the few books that I plan on reading for October. They're not that many. Okay, they are actually a lot more than I intended to read. I intend to read for October. But for Spooks and Tea, those are what I plan on reading. And hopefully, I can check out some of the prompts once I'm done uh, done reading them. As my usual when it comes to readathons, once I'm done reading, I'll check them. I'll check this bingo board. Uh, there's this one. I'll check it out and cross out whatever I was able to read for the big board. It would be interesting to see because, you know, since I'm going in blind, I don't know which of these will be included in my list. But there's that. So yeah, if you don't have any plans yet for October, then maybe you should join in in this Books and Tea readathon. Especially if you want a little push on what to read, Having prompts and joining a readathon really helps in getting through um, a book slump. Or when you just don't know what to read, yeah, having people tell you read this or look for a book like this, it really helps. So yeah, why don't you why don't you join in? And if you do plan on joining in or have books that fit into this books and tea readathon, um, leave a comment uh, or leave me recommendations on what other books that you think I should read for October or what you think other people should read for Spooks and Tea because who knows maybe I might <laughs> break my book buying ban and read those books and then I'll also link you to Ali made a list of movies podcasts books and all other things that are related to horror in in a blog post so I'll link that too if you want to you know feel the spooky vibes and go all out go ahead i'm also going to definitely check out that list too because you know i'm gonna see maybe finally i can watch those movies this month so yeah that said see you next time